me Someday I would buy Galleys with good oars And sails to distant shores Stand up high in the proud Hello and welcome to the People's Third Simus Check and Simus Package Update as of February 12th, 2020. Today on the agenda is just a recap, so my, pro my broadcast is going to be a bit short. We're going to cover the $50 an hour minimum wage, the $1,400 uh, stimulus checks that are going to go out, and what people have to say about these. To start off with, we have the $15 an hour minimum wage increase by 2025. The Democrats are trying to put this in because they say since it affects the federal budget, that it can be used as in part of the Reconciliation Act. There are many, many, many small business owners out there saying that this $15 hour minimum wage is going to make it so they either go out of business or they have to lay off some employees. And statistics show that this the minimum wage increase will take 900,000 people out of poverty, but it will cost $1.4 million jobs. Well, the, um, they're taking... They're taking that into consideration and they're weighing the 900,000 people compared to the 1.4 million jobs against each other and most Republicans are actually opposed to the $15 hour minimum wage increase even though there are six that are actually for it. We do know that Joe Manchin, which is a Democrat, is basically sort of against it, but We'll see if he signs it or not because, like I said, it's going through all the committees in the House to actually be written up into one finalized bill. The Ways and Means Committee is still working on this bill to this present day, and as soon as more information comes out about the um, stimulus package and the inc minimum wage increase, I will let you guys know. We're also going to be covering, let's see here, what else did I say? <laughs> the fourteen The $1,400 stimulus checks. Well, as of you know, the income limits for the $1,400 stimulus checks have not increased. In fact, if you're a single filer making up to $75,000 a year, you will get your full stimulus check. But if you make up to, if you make up to, if not exceeding $100,000, you will not get a stimulus check. And if you're a joint filer or a married couple, basically, you will be able to get $1,400 for both you and your spouse, as long as you do not exceed. Uh, $150,000. If you exceed $200,000, you will get exactly nothing. And they've been, the Democrats have been trying to basically make it all good with the Republicans on this topic because they, they're still trying to do a whole bipartisan thing, even though they're still moving forward with the Reconciliation Act. And 67% of uh, voters and Americans out there have actually approved approve of the Reconciliation Act being done by the Democrats, including six out of ten Republican voters. So basically, they're saying let's go ahead and do the Reconciliation Act because the Republicans do not want to work with you on this, and the Republicans in the Senate are feeling all butt hurt because the Democrats are going ahead with the stimulus proposal without their consent or without their permission or without them participating, I can't speak right now, sorry, without them participating inside this stimulus package. I still see a few comments out there about people talking about also the um, Keystone Pipeline. To get things straight here, there are people saying that it's 70,000 70, to 250,000 jobs that will be lost. And in factuality, it's only like about 1,000 to 2,500 jobs that are temporary jobs that will be lost and 35 permanent jobs but what they're not taking into consideration is is all the truckers that to actually transport all the oil from canada to the gulf of mexico where our, our refiners are the keystone pipeline would put them out of work so basically they're not taking the whole consideration of how many jobs would actually be lost to the keystone pipeline if it stayed in, into if it actually stayed up because all these truckers out there that are actually the backbone of America, this Keystone Pipeline would actually make it so they wouldn't be the backbone no more. They wouldn't have a job. So I'm actually taking consideration of uh, the temporary jobs lost compared to the permanent jobs that we're keeping. And I think we need to keep the permanent jobs for our American truck drivers that are a backbone of society. They're very important to us. And like I said, this is actually a very short 
supplemental uh, stimulus package and check interview. Uh, not interview, but you know what I mean. So basically on that topic, I'm actually going to cut it off at this present time. So more information comes available as soon as the Ways and Means Committee is done and they actually finalize the um, the um, stimulus proposal and send it to the Budget Committee. And I find out what their hearings are saying on this. I'll let you guys know. But also, this is also what is it, the third day, fourth day of Trump's impeachment trial. And the impeachment managers on the Democratic side are complete with their whole questioning of... Uh, showing their evidence and today sometime later today from what I understand the um defense for Donald Trump will be finishing up on their um defending him and hopefully it'll go off past that it'll go on to what's going to happen but we also we all suspect that Donald Trump will not be impeached if he is that would be great that'll prevent him from ever holding public office again and it'll also take away his secret service that we're paying for I don't think we should be paying for a traitor to have a secret service to protect him. But that's just my, my opinion on the whole thing. If you guys would like, you're more than welcome to comment on anything I say. I, in fact, I would value it because of this way I'll reply back to you guys. And if you like my content, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and let me know. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Friday evening. And I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow or Sunday at latest. Until then, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.